Okay, is the father, the father is the father the God of Jesus? That's a good question. Is the father the God of Jesus? I'll help well, you out God, with God a passage from your Bible. You got a Bible on you? Um, yeah. Check John twenty seventeen. Okay, what does it say? Okay, so this was <laughs> this was uh, the context was after Jesus resurrected. Yeah. He meets, he encounters Mary Magdalene, and she wanted to touch him, and he says, "Do not touch me, for I have not yet ascended. I go to my Father and your Father, yeah. my God and your God." So the Father and the God of Jesus yeah. are not only his Father and his God, but also the Father and the God of the Jewish people. Okay, like Mary Magdalene, he says, "Go to your brethren, yeah, yeah. who are basically the believers, and tell them that I go to my Father and your Father." Yeah. my God and your God. Mm. So, do you acknowledge now that the Father of Jesus is also his God? Uh, let's say, why not? All right, now we come to the second question. Yeah, okay. If Jesus is praying to his God, and Jesus... Well, God. Yeah, his God. Jesus is praying to God. Well, that was his God. He says, my God and your God, remember? So when Jesus says, my God, that is his God. Yeah, but Jesus is God, is God. Yeah, that's, that's my question now. Yeah, yeah. If Jesus is God, does he have a God? I think that's fine. So how many gods have you got now? One in substance, three in person. Okay. You are one in substance with your siblings, yeah? So let's say Jamie's family, yeah. who are all human, yes? And they have the same substance, which is human nature. Yeah. Yes? Does that make you one what? One family, right? Makes mm -hmm. you one family. Yeah. Is that how you see the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, that they are one family of God? Because they all have the same substance, just like your, you and your family have the same substance. For you is the human nature, for them is the divine nature. I think I've, I think I've answered my understanding of the Trinity. Now, I don't see where, where the problem is. The problem is, if you're just saying that they are united yeah. by their nature, then it could just mean a family of God. Like, for example, the, the pantheons that the Greeks believed, the pantheon of God, that the Greeks and the Hindu mythology yeah. believe because they believe that these are all divine and they are one family. Yeah. So how is that different to the Christian understanding of the Trinity? You, you, for you it's so similar, it's just you have limited the number to three, whereas they had lots, like I think the Hindus have something like 313 million gods. Well, I wouldn't say <laughs> I have limited it. I'd say that by my understanding of scripture, that, that, is, that is what I understand. Okay. And, and the, the Trinity, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's true, and yet it's a complex area of theology, and it's difficult to understand. One of the difficulties with communicating it is one analogy does not work for every aspect of, of the Trinity, yet we believe that the Trinity is the best description, the best doctrine to understand um, the God of the Bible. Why so, is that? So, but, but Did then, Jesus actually believe in a Trinity? Well, Jesus prayed he, to the Father and he, he exactly. had the Spirit descended on him when he was baptised. No, but that he didn't recognise the Spirit as, as his God, did he? he? He didn't use those words, but, but, but that was because he, he was wanting to communicate the various roles of, of, of the Godhead. No, before we go to the God, uh, sorry, before we understand the roles of, within, of the persons within the Godhead, yeah. we have to know whether Jesus actually worshipped and prayed to anyone other than the Father. Has he ever done that from the scripture that you've read? Off the top of my head, I don't think so. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, and you yeah. know, I'll give you a very explicit reference from Jesus Christ, which actually negates anything other than a Unitarian God, yes, as being false. John chapter 17, verse number three. When Jesus said that the only true God is the Father, mm -hmm. yes, can anybody else be the only true God? Other than those who are part of the Father, who Jesus referred to, no. Oh, what do you mean other than, apart, apart well, if, from if, the Father? If, if he refers to the Father and the Father is... The only true God. Is the only he, true he, God. Didn't say, he didn't say God the only yeah. true God. He says the Father is the only true God. So he, he actually specifies the person that he acknowledges as the only true God. So if Jesus himself explicitly states that the only true God is one person, not three persons. And that one person is the Father. And you're saying 
that your God, your only true God, is not one person but three persons. Whom do I believe, Jesus or you? Jesus <laughs> or, or Jamie? Jesus. Believe Jesus. Exactly. And that's what I do.